everybody how you doing um it's been a hot minute and uh like i said a video a month means a video a month and uh pretty recently i did something that was uh quite interesting uh quite let's say uncalled for uh immature stupid and by that i mean uh i didn't i didn't bring bashit on to one of my gigs and it did totally i totally fumbled the bag um but you know outside of that in the base world uh i made a purchase decision and of course we're going to talk about the elephant in the room and that of course is the jack cassidy signature base sitting right behind me in gold and uh no i'm just kidding um it's of course this piece of shit this is a music man sub sterling well sterling by music man sub stingray uh one of the bold black label ones and uh or at least it used to be stock it is very clearly not anymore and today we're gonna talk about it uh talk about what i did uh what i didn't do and uh most importantly why this is usually where bully says kick that intro i don't have an intro we just kind of walk into shit here um so this has a little bit of a background story so a few weeks ago um i was thinking about precision music man pickup basses although most of them look like this and i've tried a couple of them and i don't think they sound that good because they sacrifice the music man thing for the sake of the p bass uh like pickup placement and it just it just shoves the music man pickup right on the bridge it sounds super honky and i think sounds like clinical ass if uh, i was thinking the opposite like what if we took bass pickup and just slammed it against a music man one it'd be roughly in the same spot and uh it would be it'd be super tight looking and maybe it would sound actually kind of good maybe i'm cooking maybe i've done something well uh i was in low end lobsters discord one night and uh this user I'll, I'll i'll say his name awkwardly in the in the in the after in the after effects um had the same idea as me and posted like a like photoshop render of this bass and i was like oh my god this guy's on the same page as me like holy shit and um we started talking and i ended up getting to the idea first uh i have a well i work in a music shop and in that music shop we have a luthier and that luthier is able to cut holes in my bass so i said hey max his name is max hey max how much would it take for you to cost a uh cut a hole into my into my into my stingray and he said 50 bucks so i i haven't paid him yet i still need to pay him but he wants cash um so for 50 bucks i got a hole cut in my base to put this uh this squire p base pickup and the p base wiring harness it's very shoddily done and this is very much a prototype but it's more of a proof of concept more than anything else. Anyways, I'm going to buy nice pickups. There's going to be nice pickups put in it at some point. There will be a video on that when the time comes. But uh, yeah, so that gets you the backstory. Uh, why I wanted to do it is just because I wanted to... The sake of science. There was no other purpose. Um, and it was actually quite a good hole. He actually shielded it with shielding paint. Uh, and instead of letting it cure for the correct amount of time he just gave it back to me knowing that i didn't give a fuck and uh here we are and um after you know having it for about a week now maybe a little bit over a week uh i can say that i've played two fucking shows with it it fucking goes actually no i've only played one show with it that's a lie i've played one show with it and it fucking rips That's it. That's it.
Like, the way this thing keeps P-Base bottom end and the zingy top end of the Stingray is actually fucking unbelievable, and why did nobody else think of this sooner? Now, of course, if you're Ernie Ball Music Man and you're representative there, please, for the love of God, sponsor me. I love your products. Look what I've done to your creation. I've made it better. I've merely enhanced... That is blurry as shit. I've made your product better. Sponsor... No, I'm just kidding. If But if you could actually sponsor me, that'd be pretty nice. Thanks. This has been my favorite bass the last, like, couple of weeks. Like, this has put my normal P bass, which sits back there. It's got flats on it now. Uh, and the Jack Cassidy to fucking shame. And it's wired incorrectly. This, this knob, this actually only controls the Music Man pickup. This knob controls both because it was from the wiring harness of that thing. And then, of course, Master Tone works as intended. But it kind of sounds like ass uh, because the pots on it aren't that good. And the electronics, honestly, aren't that good either. It's bottom of the barrel. I paid $250 for this instrument. The expectations were not high going into this. And it still has found a way to fucking impress me. So in conclusion, in the face of everybody else and even God, and they're all looking at you and they're going like, why on earth would you ever do that? Say, fuck you, God. I've got this for a change. And you create an invention that is better than expected. Honestly, better than you expected. <laughs> I didn't expect this to sound, like, bad. I didn't expect it to sound great, and it sounds fantastic. So on a more serious note, like, this is, like, my signature instrument right now. I, this is, like, the only thing I fucking play. I played it at the fucking jazz ensemble that I did for my school, and everyone, like, thought it sounded massive. This thing sounds absolutely huge with everything turned on, and uh, I got a lot of props for having a lot of stage presence and probably a good sound too. I mean, the sound guys loved me and they also loved my amp, but that's a video for a different day. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, my name is Austin. Uh, I got, I got the video out before the end of the month. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and push something out faster. Summer break is coming soon. Uh, I expect towards the end of the month again, but everything else should come faster. Uh, I'm also moving. I'm actually living out here in uh, Colorado Springs. So, like, you know, a lot of things happening all at once, all of the time. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Uh, fuck you. I'll see you later.